Hi everyone, okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about Google Places for Business. This is one of the first things that you need to set up when starting your business. Google Places for Business allows any local business to create a listing and that listing will display information about the business, such as a telephone number, um, the address, photos of the business, maps, reviews, um, and you know a website if, if you have one. The reason why I think this is so important to set this up when you first start your business is it because it's free um, for starters. It doesn't take long to set up. Your listing will appear when people are searching for business or businesses like yours on Google search and maps as well. And it just helps customers to find out more about your business. If you haven't got a website or you're um, setting up in the, your website, you're in the process of doing it. This is just one of the ways that you know you can um, get visible in, in Google straight away. So one of the things that I'm going to concentrate on today is what if you don't have a physical address? So you may work from various locations. An example of this would be uh, like a Pilates teacher. Or maybe you're a startup business and you work from home and you don't necessarily want people to be able to see your home address. OK, so this is how you get started. So what you need to do if you haven't got a listing on Google Places for Business already, this is where you need to start. OK, so you just do a simple search, Google Places for Business. OK. And just click on the link here. And just set up your account. As I said, it takes literally minutes to do. So I would click on start now. And just go through all your business details. OK, so obviously you've got your business name. Um, and just fill out all the um, address details as well. So you could put in your home address or a, an address where you've registered your business. But the most important thing is if you don't want your address to be visible when people do a, a Google search for you, is you need to click on this bit here where it says I deliver goods and services to my customer at their location. You need to click yes. OK, so that is the most important aspect. If you are a business that works from home or you don't have a physical location, this is what you need to click. OK, press continue and then. <clears throat> It will take you through other um, various stages that you need to fill in to get your business listed on Google. OK, so what about if you already have a listing on Google OK, and your home address or an address is visible on there and you don't want it to be anymore? OK, this is what you need to do. So if you sign into your business listing that you already got at the moment, this is what you will see. Okay. So all you need to do is click on edit at the top. Okay, scroll down to the address section, click on edit again, and then scroll down again. And this is the important part here. I deliver goods and services to my customers at their location. Click yes if you don't want your address to be visible in Google. OK, just one thing to remember, it's a bit at the bottom. It does say that edits may be reviewed for quality and can take up to three days to be published. So your the change might not be visible straight away, but just bear with it. Um, as I said, it you know, it could take up to three days for this change to be made. OK, so once you've done that, click apply. Um, and then and then you're good to go. If you've got any questions or you need help in setting up your business listing, please feel free to send me an email, which is justine at metachick.co.uk um, and I'll be happy to help. OK, thank you for listening.